and the recently concluded World Coffee Conference in Bengaluru is considered the biggest event in the global coffee industry. And India played a host uh, for it for the first time, also becoming the first Asian country to ever host it. Our correspondent, Rachel Charles, spent a few caffeinated days there and brings you this next report. And by the way, today is also World Coffee Day, so enjoy a cup while watching our next report. Coffee roasters from all over India. Established industry veterans, international coffee companies and loads of people caffeinated on the best beans from a variety of Indian plantations. The World Coffee Conference 2023 was clearly the biggest platform for the global coffee industry to showcase its potential. And Bengaluru couldn't be a better city to host it in because this city meets at the crossroads of traditional Indian coffee culture and the most modern progressive developments in the coffee industry at large. The four-day event held against the backdrop of the Bangalore Palace had close to 18,000 visitors, 250 exhibitors and approximately 300 international delegates. While the central theme was sustainability through circular economy and regenerative agriculture, a range of seminars, workshops and discussions also took place that addressed both challenges and developments in the global coffee industry. It was India's moment to steal the stage. Let me tell you, we not only grow coffee, we grow some of the best coffees in the world. Our Robustas are regarded as the finest Robustas in the world. Nobody can match our quality. Our Arabicas are equal to Colombia, which is regarded as the highest. But if you see the kind of credit India has got for growing such good coffees, we have not got our due share. This is the occasion we want to place Indian you know, coffee sector in the world map, saying that India grows, produces some of the best coffees in the world and also Indian coffee industry is very vibrant. So that we get that mileage and also we start getting better prices for coffee. This is very interesting for us because uh, since you are a very big population, we have a huge opportunity to, to increase even more and to have more opportunities for all the value chain. There was also a strong recognition of the growing number of women entrepreneurs and women in the coffee industry with a competition dedicated to women baristas from different cafes across the country. Preeti Pradhan from Manipur took away the top prize. The annual National Barista Championships also took place alongside. The important thing about the Indian Barista Championship is that whoever wins this goes for the World Barista Championship. And if you win that, it's the ultimate achievement in a barista's career. And that will be Rishikesh Mohite, who will make his way to Busan in South Korea next year for the global competition, which by the way, no Indian barista has won till date. But now coffee is about lifting spirits, not lowering them, and the expo left no bean unroasted in doing so. There was coffee everywhere. Coffee roasters and cafe chains gave visitors unlimited tastings of their best brew, while many stalls used engaging methods to give away samples of their coffee. I won this, yeah? Fantastic. <laughs> Good stuff. The experience was altogether experimental. I think seeing foreign delegates here um, is definitely encouraging and for Subco, you know, we try to kind of uh, formulate everything we do uh, with a global palette in mind, with a global audience in mind, even though we're trying to add value back to, uh, um, you know, folks, folks, folks right here in India. So um, from that point of view, it added a lot of confidence to um, our mission. Coffee has moved from a hot beverage to be had inside with your family and it has really become something to connect with your friends, with, your, with people that you know. Out Outside the four walls of your house. 
Now, the World Coffee Conference happens once in four years, which is why it's called the Olympics of the global coffee industry. There are about 80 member nations in it, and it rotates between all of them. So in a nutshell, or a coffee bean, the next time it comes to India, it's going to be about 70 years from now. I'll be about 113 years old by then, and I hope to still be reporting on it. In Bengaluru, with camera person Ajit Thakur, Rachel Charles, we on World is One.